Hey everyone, this is James. And Key LA. And we're the owners and head coaches here at Fruity BJJ. And today we wanted to share a simple self-defense tip with you. So a uh, game that we play with our kids sometimes is what would you do if the bully did this to you, right? We'll come up and we'll grab them in different ways and like, what would you do? And most of the time their response is stomp their foot, which isn't a bad response. But uh, the thing is, is, it's something to think about. What would you do if somebody you know, did something to you. And so what we're gonna take a look at today is what if somebody came up behind you and grabbed you from behind around the waist, right? So we're gonna have Coach Kiele uh, be the victim here for a second, right? So for whatever reason, I come up and I get her like this behind the waist. Now this is a bad position for her for several reasons. Okay, one, I have control of her hips and so I can pick her up and start to carry her off, okay? I can also, start to move her around and trip her and take her to the ground, and now I'm on top of her. So that's a bad position for her to be in. So, Coach Kiel, what would you do if the bully did this to you? So first thing you wanna do is get your thumbs inside here. So even if they're holding you really tight, you can still you know, work your, even if you have to come out to the outside and work your thumbs in, you wanna get your thumbs inside. And the next you wanna get heavy. Like drop down, I don't know if you've ever seen a kid that doesn't want to be picked up, but they just, they anchor down to the ground, and then you want to start to walk your hips away from them. So, and then you just start applying pressure, and eventually, even if you're on the ground, you've gotten out of that. Yeah, so again, take a look at this one more time, and, and take a look at why this works, because this isn't magic, right? And so, the, me grabbing her, I have control of her hips. That's what makes this problematic for her. And to do that, I'm using my arms to wrap around. So I've got inside position on her, around her hips. So the first thing she's gonna, and then I've got her hips in close to mine, right? These are the two things that I need, is I need inside position around her hips with my arms, and I need her hips in close to mine. So to, to defend this, she's gonna use her thumbs to start getting some sort of inside position on my arms, okay? And then she's gonna sink her hips and start walking her butt away from me. See, now she's got space between her hips and mine. Now for me to try to pick her up, right? If she gets to this point, for me to pick her up and move her around is really tough, right? And then, again, she keeps applying that pressure and eventually she'll be able to break the grip and turn back into me, and now it's a different story. So, the, even if you're not able to break the grip, right, this is the important thing. This is what makes this a simple self-defense tip. It's just understanding a couple concepts that will allow you to at least start getting things going in your direction, right? So right here, if Kiele does nothing else but get her thumbs inside, right? So I've got this. I'm trying to knock her down. I'm trying to carry her off, right? Eventually, for me to change my position, for me to do anything, I'm going to have to loosen my grip and let go. And as soon as I loosen my grip, she's got control of my hands and she can start turning back into me. Okay, so just getting, run, right, get away. So just getting the thumbs inside gives you some control of their arms, which again, like I said, they're, they're eventually going to have to loosen and open their grip for them to move from this position here. And as soon as they do, you're pushing out and it's a different, uh, different fight. The other thing is, same thing, she gets inside, she sinks, but she can't pull, like push out, so she gets stuck here. Again, that's fine. For me to do anything, see, she can move, it's hard for me to trip her, right? I can't pick her up, and so for me to do anything, I'm gonna have to loosen or open my grip, and as soon as that happens, she's out of there, okay? Or you get all the way, or you get the hips away, and you break the grip and you turn around, but no matter where you get, as long as you get those thumbs in, and you understand inside position wins, right? They're getting around your hips with their arms. If I can get inside their arms with my thumbs, I've got some sort of inside position. I've got some control. I can start working from there. So again, it may not look exactly like what we showed you, but you will be able to do what you need to do in the moment, to last, you know, to keep things from continuing to go from bad to worse, right? Something already went wrong. Somebody got up behind you and grabbed you. Your situational awareness was off. Something was off that allowed that to happen. So you don't want to let a bad situation get even worse 
by not having any sort of answer or any sort of defense to what they're doing. So, like I said, even if it's just getting the hands inside and just starting to get heavy, you're already starting to turn the tables a little bit and get things going back in your direction. So, um, any other thoughts or words of wisdom on that? No. All right, well, awesome. So, hopefully this uh, simple self-defense tip helps you out. Uh, we're going to be doing more of these in the future, so keep an eye out for them, and we'll talk to you next time.